Welcome, welcome one and all back again to the first listens where we listen to songs for the very first time. We may know the bands, we may not know the bands, but, we, but we, uh, we're getting into the song for the first time. This time a band called Astronoid. I want to say this kind of progressive, shoegazy, metal-y kind of stuff, but uh, I've heard some of their stuff before. I heard a song called Up and Atom, which is the number one on their playlist here. But today we're doing Sleep Whisper. You know, when you're having that, when you're asleep at night, right? And the, the demon comes and whispers in your ear and you wake up. It was a, that's a sleep whisper. So that's what we're getting into right here, right now, today. So if you're ready to join me on this journey, let's get into Astronoid. We learned about the band. We listened to the song. Sound good? Let's go. Astronoid. They got 50,479 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five jams. Um, song I've heard, Up and Atom, A-T-O-M. 1.1 million plays. It's a fantastic song. Number two, Eyes, 50,000 plays. The song we are doing here today, Sleep Whisper, 26,000 plays. It's a new single. Uh, number four is I Dream in Lines, 858,000 plays. An incandescent in the fifth slot with 1.2 million plays. Uh, let's look into them albums and see what this band has released um, and I want to say that they're fairly new because it looks to me like they, uh, uh, is Sleep Whisper an actual album or a single? Um, it's just the two singles, Ice and Sleep Whisper. So it looks like they've got two full length albums here. You got Air in 2016 and Astronoid 2019. So that is the albums for the band. Now we're going to look into related artists. This will take us down the rabbit hole of other artists we might be interested in checking out who they might have played shows with, who they might have toured with, who do they hang out with, who do they play grab ass with. Um, if they're on a playlist, maybe these bands are on those playlists as well. You got Violet Cold, uh, Numorian, you got Sylvain, White Ward, uh, Unrequited, Ghost Bath. Uh, I was thinking of uh, the Deftone song, Digital Bath, not Ghost Bath, uh, uh, Ultar, You've got T Turna, T R N A. You got oh Hikiri, uh, Harakiri for the sky. We have done them on the first listens. They're a great band. A light in the dark. You got so hideous, and an autumn for crippled children. I mean, I am I'm I'm very intrigued to give that a listen. But an autumn for crippled children. Uh, now we're going to get into that bio and learn a little bit about them. And you got four fellas here. And quite frankly, they look a little bit nerdish, a little bit of D and D, maybe some gaming. They're standing on a nice little rug there. They got some lamps around them. They've set this up to say this is going to be a very interesting photo of the band, and I think it it strikes well to what they sound like. And they're saying, Shane, get over here and let's smoke a cigar and play some hacky sack. Uh, creation should feel like a moment of self acu. Ac actualization. Full potential and promise become fulfilled. The next step can be taken. Astronoid reached such a moment on their self-titled debut album, The Boston Quartet, Brett Boland, Daniel Schwartz, Casey Aylward, and Matt St. Jean actualized the scope of the dynamic and dreamy deluge of thrashing guitars, soaring shoegaze, didn't I say that, shoegaze? progressive pummeling, and ethereal vocal emissions. The music reflects the ebb and flow of two years marked by the intense life changes. So there you have that. I think I was pretty good with kind of what I felt like uh, the song sounded like when I, when I listened to them before. Very ethereal, open, heavy. Uh, 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 um, uh, so, you know, you get it. Uh, this is the Teddy, takes us into the world of Astronoid and their song, Sleep Whisper. And we're going to do that right here, right now, along with me, my dear friends. Please join me. Let's do so. Oh, yeah. It already sounds beautifully produced. You got a China boy? <laughs> Sound beautiful.
angelic ethereal vocal. That is beautiful. This is driving a, an abandoned road in the middle of the night to bury a body. Oh, I love that. Beautiful, big, thick, full, ethereal, just flowing through the universe. That bass. Really is a sleep whisper, isn't it? It's beautiful. Really like his voice too. You gotta go back to that first rep. His voice beautifully complements this whole thing. Guys are players, they know what they're there it is. Wow. The hair is racing up. Perfect way to end that. That sounds good too. I dream in lines. I mean, uh, that was absolutely beautiful in my thoughts and opinions on that. I thought that was absolutely, I love that, that post-hardcore, really heavy but ethereal and big and full and distant and universal kind of sound. I love that. 
and uh, I thought that was absolutely perfect. But what say you? Most important part of my videos, as always, is where you get in the comments below and tell me exactly what you think of the song that we just did here, the song that you just heard with your own ears. Perhaps you're a longtime fan of this band, or this is the first time you've heard it, and I'd like to get your thoughts and opinions on what you just heard. Good, great, fantastic, Shane. Huge fan of Astronoid. I'm surprised you have not uh, done them so far on the channel. I'm glad that you are doing them today. This is the top five reasons why they're my all-time favorite band. What was it like the very first time, the very first song you heard from the band? And the one that hooked you and you said, that's it, I'm, 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 I'm down for this band. Have you ever seen them live and what was that experience like? I'm picturing lots of um, awesome lighting. I could see a lot of awesome lighting and, and digital kinds of stuff going on behind it. But uh, who knows, maybe they just uh, get up there and rock it out. They look like some just get up there and rock it out kind of guys. Um, All-time favorite songs, all-time favorite album out of those two from Astronoid. Um, or you can say, not good, not great, Shane, I just didn't dig it. It was big, it was heavy, it was fun, it was fresh, my ass was clapping, the toes were tapping, it was damn good, but my ears didn't like it. It's something that I probably wouldn't go back to, but I really enjoyed the experience, so uh, not my cup of tea, don't want it, don't need it, never going to listen to it again. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know? If you have a hard rock, a heavy metal special request, and you're saying, bye, Joe, I'd like to see my request on there, it's a very simple and easy thing to do. Hit one of the links in the description below. We'll get it on for you in your honor with thumbsy upsies to you. Or you could put it in the comments. If you put your request in the comments and I see it and I like what you've got going on there and we haven't done it before, I'll hit it with the heart and tell you I'm going to do your request, okay? That's all I got. Astronoid. Mm.